Welcome. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber and allowing me to come into your home and to teach you what I have learned about building a YouTube channel and creating an online presence. For the people who don't know me, my name is Rochelle. My brand is a DIY affiliate and I help people from all walks of life in all countries in all languages to be able to build their online presence the fastest, easiest, and most cost-effective way possible. For the new year, I will be adding all new tutorials on affiliate networks such as Commission Junction, JVZoo, and Impact. I will be doing reviews on different affiliate programs and the focus will be on making money for 2020. This is the second tutorial on the Ultimate Member plugin WordPress review. This tutorial will take you step by step and show you how you can assign Ultimate Member registration forms and profile forms to different users on your website. I have created a step-by-step -step instruction sheet in which you can follow along with in this video and I will also le leave in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. Step one is adding user roles. So we would go to the top and we would click add new. Just click on user roles Ultimate Member has already created certain user roles. If you click beside or just a little under, you will see where it says Reset Ultimate Member Role Meta Key. When a role is created, you will see the UM in front. This role was created for YouTube Creator. Understanding what roles mean is key to understanding the Ultimate Member plugin. To create your own role, you would add new, enter the give general permissions to start with. You can read this other information here. Registration, status, auto approve. So that means that they can just sign up and be approved right away. I'm just going to click this. You can also require an email activation or require admin review. So just require email activation. Login user after validating the link will show a custom message. Thank you for registering. Before you can log in we need to activate your account by clicking the activation link in the email we just sent you. Or you can use a URL redirect in which you would enter it in there. Action to be taken after the login, redirect to profile, redirect to URL, refresh active page, or redirect to WordPress admin. Redirect to profile. Now this is your WordPress capabilities. This is what you are allowing your user to do on your website. Edit post, publish, pu delete post, create the role. User role added success successfully. If you want to add another user role, you would just click add. 
new subscriber. So as a subscriber, you don't want them to access your WordPress admin. And also you don't want them to see the admin bar, so you're going to hide it. You are only going to give general permissions. Registration status. Require email activation and show custom message. and then create the role. Step two, edit the default registration form. Ultimate member has already created default forms and you have to see if you go to your forms, a default registration form that Ultimate Member has already created. You can see this is the short code here, Ultimate Member Form ID equals 19. This is the default registration form. Customize this form and then you must click Yes. Assign role to form. And I created the video creator. So this is the new role that I am assigning to this form. And then the same information as the other one. And then update. Now at any time, create a new form. Click Add New. Make sure you choose a Registration. You will t be able to tell by the blue block. This is your Registration. This is Profile. And this is Login. So, Registration Form. This is just for a subscriber. You can add a top row by clicking on this, this plus sign. And then into the edit row. Here you have a number of options that you can choose. the background color of your row, the text color of your row, and the border color of your row. Now this is the margins and this is for more experienced users. You can enable row heading give your uh, heading a title, a heading background color. We're gonna just going to use the same colors here. Heading text color. Choose an icon. You have 1,219 available icons. You can search in your icon by typing in the first letters. As I typed in sub, I got a subway. Interesting. So I'm just going to click that and then you can also change the color of your icon and then click update. You will not actually see your row until you do your live. It's going to do 
live. Next, this is where you add your fields. A field is either a predefined field, a s you can set up a new field or custom fields. Custom fields are ones that you create from these boxes here. You have a text box, a number box, drop down, multi select, radio checkbox, URL, a new password maker, an image upload, file upload, and so on and so forth. So we are going to create a text new text box. You will see add new field. You will give your title a meta key is computer language that's easier for your computer to recognize. So it is always in small font with an underscore to connect any words. So the lower case and then an underscore to connect your words. Any help text, you can just put whatever you want. The label is the same as the title. A placeholder is the same as your alt oops is the same as your alt text and a placeholder is something that a computer screen will see if your computer is slower to be able to show And you can also choose an icon. This time I'm going to type in person and then click finish and then add. Then you will see it come up there. That was one example. Add field. You'll see the fields manager. And for your registration, you will need some predefined fields such as username or username or email and password. You can also add first name. You can add a registration date. You can also add a birth date.
you have many choices here in your field manager. You could either set up new fields, use predefined fields, or custom fields. And these are the ones that you have created. And they will all go here for future reference. When you have finished adding your fields, you will then click on Create. This will now create your new registration form. Let's wait for that to com completely come in. Now this is very important. You see now it has short code, which is 163. Customize this form. Yes. It'll then ask you to assign a role. The role we just created was new subscriber. You cannot change the template. and 600 pixels show with a label or show text inside text field. Primary button register. You can show a secondary button which is your login button and enable your privacy policy. And I am doing another video tutorial to show you how to enable your privacy policy. When you are done, you click update. It says form updated. And we want to do a live preview. This is the form that I have created. And at any time, you can continue editing. Short recap. We have added our user roles. Just going to copy that. We have edited the default registration form. We have assigned user role to the registration forms. We have created a new registration form. We have assigned our user role to the registration form. Now we are up to step number three, which is creating new profile. This is uh, my default profile form here, and I'm just going to edit that. This is my default profile form. Your default profile form may look different because it doesn't have as many fields and different fields. So I'm just going to go over this quickly. I've added a username and email, a first name, website URL, country, the, and YouTube URL. I've also added the social media outlets of Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, 
Instagram live preview. Do that right now. Make sure that this is updated. So now I have edited this default profile and now I am going to create a, a new profile form. Click Add New. Give your form a name. This is a profile form. So you have to make sure that you are in your profile form. And then click. This is your row settings. And of course you can do the background color, the text color. I'm just going to do that in red. Text color in red. And the border color will be red. Yes. Mine is going to be... <coughs> the heading background color and the text is red. Choose an icon. You can choose from 1219 available icons. into the search. And I am choosing YouTube as an icon and finish. Select my color for my icon. Now you can only do this in your row headings. You cannot select a color anything uh, different from your actual other icons. And now for a profile, you want to, first of all, I've created a field, a new field, and it is tell us about you. So I'm just going to click that. And we're just going to go into the edit so you can see how it is created. So the title is Tell Us About You. The meta key is about you. The help a text is Tell Us About You. And you can do a default value. And you, I've also added the label, the placeholder, and the privacy. And I've chosen an icon and I'm just going to update this. And then the next one will be another one that I created, which is what is your channel? Out. And then this is the field that I created. What is your channel about? And then the next one will be the introductory channel trailer, which is important. And if you edit this, it is the introductory channel trailer, the meta key, in the lower case. A little bit of help text, the label, placeholder, privacy, and icon. And then update. And then another one was the, that I created was the channel rating, which I think is important. Do you want to know 
how your channel's doing, then look at your channel rating through Social Blade. I will leave that in the description. Now I am creating another master row and editing the row. And the background color is white, text color is red. And you can choose anything that you would like, any colors you would like. Find me. And you have to experiment with what, how you search for the icons because you may find that what you're searching for, the keywords that you're typing in, is not what the icon is under. And then we are going to add all of the social media sites. So we're going to start with Facebook. Once this is now complete, you will then click Create. This will now create a new profile form for your new user role, which is Video Creator. The form is created. Customize this form, yes. And then make this role specific to the video creator. Make this profile form role specific to the go through all of these different options and then click update. We are going to do step 5, step 5a, and step 6 together. So we are going to create a new register page and then we are going to add the ultimate member profile form short codes to the ultimate member user page and then we are going to from the new register form we are going to copy the short code to the new page we created. So we created two we created a profile form for the video creator and we also created a go into forms. You can see we already have our default register page and we have a subscriber register but we don't have a video creator register. So we need to create a new page and we're just going to call it new subscriber register. If you are using Gutenberg, then you will click on the plus sign and look for short code. You will see a box that comes up that says short code. Go back into your forms and find the short code. Find the page that you created, your new register page. Find the short code. Copy the short code. Make sure that you have the brackets. Copy that. And then add a new page. Give it a title. And if you are using Gutenberg, you can use the plus and then click on the short code block and then paste your short code in and then publish
go to your forms, find the profile short codes that you need, that you created for your, your new user roles, copy the short code back into pages, find the user profiles, click edit, This is using Gutenberg Editor. Click the plus sign short code and then paste it in. Update. If you are using the classic editor, you would go you would see editing code code editor in your forms you would choose the profile that you created and then you would then add it inside here and then update. I'm just updating that again. One more bit of housekeeping. Make sure that your menus, your menu that you've created, that when you create a page, it is automatically added to the menu. Okay. You now have created you now have completed all of the steps that you need to do in order to set up your ultimate member plugin in your WordPress. I am going to leave this information in the description of this video for your reference. So now we're in an incognito uh, browser. Here you can see I have the YT Creator Register. The Affiliates Register. And the New Subscribers Register. The next video I will be doing will be creating the user profiles and doing a walkthrough on how to use this membership site and how it will work for you. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this helpful, then please like and subscribe. I will see that you like this and I will make more of the same. This shows me that you are interested in what I am doing and will allow me to create more of what you are interested in. 
This new year, I will be focusing on making more money online. I will be reviewing affiliate networks such as Commission Junction, JVZoo, Impact, and more. This channel is heading in a new direction for 2020. It will still be the DIY do-it-yourself, but the focus will be on manifesting and creating diverse streams of income. In short, making money. Have a wonderful New, new Year's Eve and a prosperous New Year for 2020. The video will be on creating a profile online with the membership site, a walkthrough of the membership site, ideas and suggestions on what you can do with your membership site and how you can make money with it. I will also be doing further reviews on the paid membership sites as well. Every single day